Now to something we've covered extensively here, the raging wildfires in the West, where new flames have erupted in Arizona and Colorado. And the Park Fire in Northern California is spreading. It has now become the sixth largest wildfire ever in that state. And that is where we find Jonathan Vigliotti, who is on the ground there. Jonathan, good morning. And Nate, in football terms, Cal Fire this morning is in offense thanks to cooler temperatures. You're actually watching them set what are known as backfires, burning through all of this dry vegetation to stop the main fire in its tracks. The park fire does continue to grow this morning, pushing into the north. Meanwhile, overnight, additional evacuation orders were issued. After nearly a week of battling towering flames, the park fire is still raging with minimal containment. Reinforcements have arrived and almost 5,000 firefighters are now battling the blaze. We saw this thing just explode. It sounds like some of these forests haven't burned in decades. Yeah, so like it's just dead fuel. Ground and aerial teams are fighting heat and rugged terrain to prevent wind-driven embers from igniting more forest. We had spot fires and we lost a couple hundred acres, but with the crews and the air attack and the helicopters that were uh, putting in good work yesterday, they were able to kind of contain the, those couple hundred acres. The man accused of starting the fire, 42-year-old Ronnie Stout, appeared in court Monday. Prosecutors say he pushed a burning car into an embankment. The district attorney said Stout claimed it was an accident. Is this an accident and his car suddenly and mysteriously rolling downhill or is this a situation using physical force to push the car backwards what is clear this morning is the scale of loss more than 370,000 acres burned more than 100 structures many of them homes lost meanwhile stout will appear back in court on thursday michelle jonathan vigliati thank you